then the, the whole thing is to motivate you to, to give it a try. Don't have fear in cooking. Okay, we're back with another kitchen classic, an everyday recipe, and this will be a fun one. Edna Tynes is from Bellevue. She's been kind enough to spend some time with us here and uh, show us classic Mexican carnitas. What is carnitas? Carnitas is actually technically mean little meat. Little meat. Little meat. Okay. In Spanish. It's a traditional dish from Mexico, mm -hmm. and it's usually something that we do on Sundays. And you were born in Mexico City? I was born and raised in Mexico City. And what brought you to the States? Uh, from school. I, I, I did my uh, college here. Okay. So and then, you know, kind of stayed in history. And you have to eat. I have to eat, and, cook. I, and I miss them. You know, when I was back home, I used to love, this is a Sunday dish. Everybody gets to to eat this on Sunday, so it's like we have to figure out how to make this in a healthy way and something that is okay. not so Let's do fatty. It. Sure, okay. ready for this one. I am. We've got a so, party. Where do we start? Okay, so the cut that we use is uh, pork butt mm -hmm. or Boston, and I like pork shoulder. The pork shoulder. Yeah, they're all basically the same kind of stuff. I like uh, one that is um, boneless just because it cooks a lot faster. So this is actually a very simple recipe. It's a uh, boil, bake, and broil. Three B's. Three B's. Okay. Very simple. I like that a lot. So easy. <laughs> but it's amazing. So what you do is you take this. I you can brown it if you want to, or just put it in there. Mm -hmm. Half a yellow onion goes in there. Not a lot of chopping. Not a lot of chopping. I put the oranges. Okay. And I leave, I reserve a little bit for the second step, the second beat. Right. And then I have some cumin, about mm. two, three teaspoons of cumin. And that just gives us an amazing flavor. So I think this is a chemical reaction of the salt, the cumin, reserve some for the baking process. Right. And some salt. A little bit more salt, if you're salt conscious, maybe cut down on the step number two. And water. And then we cover this about two thirds. So we're gonna braise this. We're gonna, actually we're gonna boil it. Really? We're gonna boil it for an hour and a half. Okay. And I cover it all the way to about half an inch. Just about okay. there. This is actually really, it seems like it's a long time. And you know, while you're doing oh, this, you can do something else. Yeah. 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 So we cover this? You cover that, you leave it on boiling for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. All right. When this is done, you take the liquid out. Right. You leave about an inch in. Mm -hmm. And then that goes in the oven, 375 for two hours. Again, yeah. you can go mop or do something okay. around the house. Then you can sit down and read a magazine. You can read a map, <laughs> do your nails. So after that is done, um, it goes in the oven for two hours, two hours, 375. The last 10 minutes, we take the cover off. Mm -hmm. We look at the meat. We take it all off. If you have, if you bought bone, take the bone out. Kind of take it apart a little bit. Turn your broil for about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes and kind of toss it. Okay. And they are. Get a little bit that's, it. that's it. That is it. It's just a couple hours, but it's so worth it, and it's a great crowd pleaser. And every week. Right? And every week. Okay, Sunday, I'm at your house. Sunday. Well, Got it. Yeah, the next holiday. We're there. So then, when it comes out, what do we do with it? So when this is done, we have one in the oven that right. is already done. So this one is totally done. Put right. One in the yeah, oven. We get yeah, the one in the oven. The magic of television here. So the magic of television, you know, we take this, we empty the right. water. We can go like okay, so, but then what are we going to serve this with? So we're going to make a very simple tomatillo sauce. And tomatillos, what are my tomatillos? Say that again, okay. what kind of sauce? Tomatillo sauce. It's a okay. green tomatillo sauce. Okay. So the tomatillos, you're going to pass me that tomatillos over there. Not those over? No, just need a couple of those. So this is what a tomatillo looks like. It's... Um, so I think it's a fruit, so uh, like a tomato. It looks like a Brussels sprout. Yeah, it's really cool. Kinda. It has its own, yeah. and they it grow, has its own little paper case. They grow wonderful. They're mm -hmm. sticky. Have to wash them. Then what you do? Magic of TV. Yeah. I want to look at that again. You, there you, you go. You play with them. Tomatillo. Look at that. <laughs> it's a wee bit. <laughs> and then we use serrano chili. So I use mm -hmm. a little serrano chili, a quarter mm -hmm. white onion, garlic cloves, and then just soak it. it. Mm -hmm. And your cast iron. Get a little Black. color. So what it does, color. it changes the color. You'll see how it goes from very green to a little bit of cook. So it's so, so it's, it's nice and great. Take this. We're going to put this in our blender. Okay. Are any of these, some of those that we know that we split them open, it's going to fill the air and everybody's going to start crying? Not today. Spices. I will now. I would have to ask because I would get a little nervous. So um, do you have a knife, Carol? Yes. <laughs> so what I do 
with this, I mean, there's two ways. I like it hot, I can go and dump it in Me the bathroom. Me too. But I think it's a good idea to um, to open this and then just clean the seats out. Take the seats out if you don't want the heat. Yeah, it's just, it's just safe. So <laughs> and do after you've done this, make sure you wash your hands really, really don't well. Touch, don't, don't touch, touch any part of your body. <laughs> You'll hurt. So this is very simple like this. And and I usually like the serranos. They have a little bit more of their robust flavor than, mm -hmm. or if you don't have a serrano, you can use a uh, jalapeno. Okay, so put in there. You get your tomatoes. I got about 12 to 14 tomatillos readily available in Seattle. You read anywhere. my mind. I was sure. like, I've never seen some of this stuff. Anywhere. Any and store if, will you, find them. Okay. if you're not in Seattle, you could use canned food. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And then what we do, we have this. Mm -hmm. We use a little bit of cilantro, you know, mm -hmm. and a little more. It's always good. <gasps> it's over there. It smells great, doesn't it? A little, <laughs> bit, of, a little bit of salt. And Mark, you want to go give it a Probably the need world? You ready? I'm I'm probably. probably. Oh, oh, man, I'm <laughs> you don't do it without the lid, huh? No, you want to get your own off. Okay. Magic of TV? Yeah. Look like my blender of life. Blender with attitude. What am I watching for? Just the blender a little bit. That's it. So there's a really fun trick to, to work with this. You can add a little water if you want it more runny, but it has to be warm. Since the tomatillos were warm, warm with warm. The other thing you could do, you could also add half an avocado and it makes this beautiful really? creamy sauce. Yes, I love that. So we got this. And this sauce actually can stay in the fridge for you know a good week. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, yeah. you can freeze that. Do you have a problem? You, absolutely, and it's wonderful. And you can do so many things. You can add sour cream and make enchiladas. You can use it as a soup base. You can do just about anything. Put it on the chip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think I, I turned into the lady. Okay, I will get this on the other side. You know, the way you did that, it was like in your sleep. I mean, it's not <laughs> normal to talk while you're cooking. And I know I distract you like probably the kids in the house, but look at that and how it, it came together so quickly and so nicely. So this is what the carnitas look like. So this is after, remember, we boil, we bake, and, we boil, and we, the three Bs. So this is what it looks like after it's done. This is where I already went in there with my two forks and just blew it apart. And one something you really want to get at is that goo the stuff. The brown stuff. That the flavor. It's caramelized. Yes. All these have caramelized absolutely um, beautifully. Look at that goo. So, you can serve this with um, just in a little taco, like this. I think everybody's waiting to get a really bite of this. Yeah, they're like, okay. oh, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. There you go. I'm gonna love this. And another fun thing with carnitas is like, this is a great base thing. You can, the next morning you can do scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can put a little bit of- Little cilantro on there. Little cilantro. I like to put a little avocado in there. Oh, good. And, of course, our fresh salsa. And this is a great with chips and salsa. It's amazing here at the start. It is amazing. The only thing you guys are going to have to get napkins because it's going to get messy. Sure. But this oh. is amazing. I mean, you realize, you know, these are viewers like you making these recipes that look like something right out of a little restaurant. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is the best one ever. I'll make it a pretty one. <laughs> so the good thing about something like this is like I said the next day you can do this with scrambled eggs the leftover mm -hmm. meat it freezes amazingly you can do barbecue sauce and it's just a great home staple what, I, what an idea here too as well for the uh, you know you're turning the potluck or at work potluck oh totally you're looking for that different recipe this, this is one of them in the cook okay Mark are you ready here we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. This will make it my house and never leave. There you go. Mm hmm. Outstanding mm -hmm. recipe. Again, we're at that Pines of Bellevue. Kind enough for you to come and share this. Thank you for sharing the Classic that Mexican carnitas. It's a kitchen classic in our house every weekend. Yeah. It will be Sunday. Too. Sunday dinner. Support public television. Support KCTS9 Cook. You want more recipes? Look at this great cooking class. Call 1 800 
443-1999 or right now and online anytime at kcts9.org. More good eats, more tasting, more recipes, straight ahead. Mm -hmm.